Hi everyone, I'm Hazel. Welcome to another episode of Games That Inspire Me. And today I'm going to be playing this awesome game, a very rare game on my PlayStation 1 called Inhinder. Let's take a look. Inhinder is a side scrolling sci fi shoot em up game developed by Squaresoft, now known as Square Enix. It was released in 1997 for the Sony PlayStation. In fact, I remember having this as a demo disc in the UK, but it was never available in the UK to play only in Japan. So when I got my hands on this disc, I was so excited to play this. This unique title stands out for its fusion of traditional shoot 'em up gameplay with intense futuristic graphics and a mature detailed narrative. In fact, in Hindo was Square's first attempt at the genre departing from their typical RPG route to create something distinct and memorable in the world of arcade style shooters. Now let's talk about the gameplay mechanics. There's the weapon system. The game's most notable feature is its weapon system, which allows players to collect various weapon pods or gun pods dropped by enemies. Now players can hold up to two gun pods at once, switching between them in real time, with each weapon providing different attacks. This versatility is central to this gameplay, and certain game pods are more effective against particular enemies. In fact, fun fact, Enhinder, which actually is German for one-hander, references the unique design of the player's ship, which has a single arm used to hold the gun pod. This arm can switch between an upper and lower position, adding a layer of strategy to attack directions and angles. Let's talk about dynamic difficulty because this game offers a much more challenging experience than your typical side scrollers with complex enemy patterns and difficult boss. However, it also rewards skillful play by granting more powerful gun pods to players who destroy enemies efficiently. The story and setting is set in a dystopian future and Hinder explores the conflict between two factions the Earth base Sodom and the Moon base Selene. Players take on the role of a pilot from Selene, sent to Earth on a suicide mission to gather intelligence and cause as much destruction as possible. This game explores themes of war, loyalty and the expendability of soldiers within a futuristic context. One thing's for sure, this game has a very unique visual style when it comes to 3D shooters at the time, especially on the PlayStation. It had 3D graphics with a 2.5D gameplay. In Hinder uses 3D graphics with a side scrolling 2.5D perspective, allowing for impressive visual depth, intricate background designs, and large dramatic boss fights. The soundtrack is freaking epic. It's composed by Kenichiro Fuki. The soundtrack blends a style of techno, industrial and electronic elements, enhancing the game's tense, futuristic atmosphere and adding to this immersive experience. And Hinder received a widespread acclaim for its innovative mechanics, detailed graphics and engaging music. But it was not commercially successful at the time. Despite this, I love the game, it's fantastic and since then has gained a cult following and is regarded as one of PlayStation's best shooters. Its unique approach to weapon system, combined with an atmospheric presentation, helped set it apart and left a lasting impression on fans of the genre. And Hinder is what you call a classic example of Square's willingness to experiment and push genre boundaries, solidifying its place as a standout title in the world of shoot 'em ups And I'm afraid that's all we got time for in this episode, but if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. If you played in Hinder, let us know your thoughts down below in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, and most importantly, stay safe. See you in the next video.